Welcome back students to one more session of your chemical properties of benzene. Now we have come to the main concept that is electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene. Right. So first of all before going into the electrophilic substitution reactions, let us see the mechanism of electrophilic substitution. So first of all electrophile, what do we denote with? We denote electrophile with E plus in this way. Right. When I take benzene molecule, Whenever I am adding an electrophile, electron deficient species, what is, how does it show? The bond is broken here and the electrophile goes and adds to the para position first, first one and the H plus is out. So it, it undergoes a lot of electrophilic substitution reactions. Let us see. Now in this electrophilic substitution reactions, what is the mechanism? The same thing I will be showing step by step. Keep noting it. Let us turn the page. I require the whole page. So, we will see the mechanism now. So, when I have to see the mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction, first important thing, right, you need to show it step by step, then we will be speaking about what happens when an electron releasing group is present, what happens when an electron withdrawing group is just present. So, in the mechanism, the first important thing, right, I am taking benzene. So, as soon as I take, I will draw the alternate pi bonds, correct. First important thing. There is a formation of arenium ion or carbocation or sigma complex or valine intermediate. This is what is the first important thing, right? <coughs> Sorry, in the step one, formation, let me write this as step one. Step one, formation of what water form I means the same thing, it is either called as arenium ion or. It is called as carbocation or it is also called as sigma complex or it is also called as valent intermediate. Valent intermediate. Done. Right. So, benzene, I am drawing uh, a bit lower here. Fine. So, first important thing. Whenever you are taking benzene, there is a shift of this bond. When it shifts off, how does it look like? Benzene, this pi bond is here only. This bond also is here. Now, the uh, here the pi bond has shifted in this direction. This has lost electron, so this becomes plus. This has gained electron, this has become minus. Now, this is called arenium ion or carbocation or complex sigma complex or valent intermediate valent intermediate i have written it here now this further when an electrophile attacks this electron is shaded by this shade to this electrophile and how does this look get hydrogen and electrophile and plus here now, in the step, second step, what happens? Next step, this bond, this pi bond, shuts. Now, it shows it starts showing resonance. This pi bond shifts in this direction because there is electron deficiency here. When it shifts, and this will become deficient now. H and E. Now, this further shows. This again undergoes delocalization because there is a positive charge here. When this is removed to this, this becomes a positive site. This bond is here only. This bond now shifts to this direction because we have shifted it here. This becomes plus and hydrogen and electrophile. Now, further, this undergoes delocalization. This is a plus. Isn't it? Yeah. So once the whole uh, shift, this is over, one shift over, second shift over, third shift also over. Finally, we are going to get no further resonance means there is no no more aromatic delocalization because there are no pi electrons present. Correct? Yes. So finally, this forms a resonance hybrid. 
how do we write that we are going to write it dotted lines like this and h and x so as i said no um, no more automatic delocalization isn't it by electrons because oh, it has already shifted this one is here one is here one is here so this whatever positive charge is here this is going to spread to two other carbon atoms yes and how is it aromaticity re, uh, restored it has to be restored isn't it? then only uh, you will form a resonance hybrid so what will happen positive charge formed spreads to two other carbon atoms two other carbon atoms so how does it spread it's going to take a bond like this right h and he so this bond shifts here and finally i get all the bonds and electrophile is left up and h plus is this so now the aromaticity is restored is restored so here what is important thing benzene is acting as lewis base what is lewis base a lewis base is lone pair donor electrophile here is acting as an lewis acid what is the lewis acid now lone pair acceptor accept right now this is your mechanism of electrophilic substration reactions suppose if i have let me take you to one more thing suppose if i have an electron releasing group so here in this con this an electron releasing group what will happen what are the different electron releasing groups that is your alkyl groups isn't it i have already shown you alkyl groups are present which will increase or uh, they're, they're going to uh, increase electron density let's see suppose if i have electron releasing groups electron releasing groups i also made a video for electron withdrawing groups and electron releasing groups. what are the electron withdrawing and what are the electron releasing groups suppose whenever alkyl example as i said alkyl groups so whenever i have alkyl groups they release electrons by what process they release by a process called hyperconjugation in goc you have seen this isn't it the release by hyperconjugation so this because of this they are less reactive than compounds having above groups means different thing okay i'll explain what is the concept so this by hyperconjugation process only it's going to show or it will uh, the whole impact is due to hyperconjugation let's see what it is suppose if i take an electron releasing group with the benzene ring i have taken benzene i have methyl group alkyl group i am introducing e plus to this okay let me put this into a box yes e plus to this in the step one this pi bond shifts here right so what will happen electrophile also attacks how does this benzene look your methyl alkyl group is here right this is lost in electron so this becomes plus and h and e further what happens it goes to resonance now in the next step spawn ships here h and e are here electron releasing group is here now what will happen this bond has shifted to this direction so here and this becomes electron deficient and there's one more bond here further this undergoes resonance means shifting of bond here what do i get i'm going to get one bond here one bond here ch3 here hydrogen here electrophile here but there'll be plus charge here because this is lost electron then to satisfy this further what happens 
see here electron releasing group I said isn't it now CH3 I am writing it as H okay only one line I am sorry H and CH2 so uh, hydrogen is here electrophile is here positive is here in this right okay there is shift uh, okay let us see there is shift of this bond this bond has shifted here okay I should not write here this bond is here isn't it okay I'm sorry now there's a bro bond broken this becomes positive here correct so further what happens this is in resonance with this bond is still here H and he this pi bond is still there now this bond is broken isn't it so this becomes double bond C H H and this is lost H plus further what happens in the in this one further when I take resonance of this H and E here my bond is here it's also here hyper conjugation I told you isn't it see here I'm showing the hyper conjugation so H plus this is your hyper conjugation isn't it further I'm showing the hyper conjugation C hydrogen is here hydrogen is here one hydrogen here one more hydrogen here and H plus isn't it so here bond pair moves with where there is plus M effect isn't it? plus M group lone, lone pair because of the plus M effect groups lone pair starts moving so this is the concept of hyper conjugation isn't it so whenever you have an electron releasing groups like this it's going to show the concept of hyper conjugation which I have shown now suppose if you have electron withdrawing groups what are the different electron withdrawing group cyano nitro right uh, like c1 we will list out one after the other <coughs> so remember whenever you have an electron release in groups it's going to show the whole mechanism in this way this is the way hope this is clear students now we will write or I'll show you what happens when I have an electron releasing group like this so I have already made one video with electron releasing group let me take out the pages electron releasing group also I have shown you what are the different electron releasing groups right so when you have an electron not releasing withdrawing group sorry withdrawing groups what happens how does it show so electron withdrawing groups for example example are NO2 cyano SO3H CHO C double bond R or um, if I have to take double bond O R NHR double bond O NH2 etc so all these are electron withdrawing groups suppose if we have an electron withdrawing group so these they, they have more they have more electron negative uh, atoms isn't it what do they exert they exert minus m effect as well as exert minus i effect so they're going to exert minus m effect as well as minus i effect also both they show here if you have electron withdrawing group when you have electron releasing group as I've shown you this electron uh, releasing group in the earlier one which works with hyper conjugation concept isn't it right now let's see whenever you have an electron withdrawing group in the ring this way NO2 plus so you're adding an electrophile to this first important thing this is electron withdrawing you to be careful All right once the electrophile adds just see here what happens first important thing you need to concentrate here 
plus O and electronegative atom and the arrow is directed towards that right so this bond from here is broken and one hydrogen and electrophile adds so plus further this question this shows resonance NO2 H and H here there is positive charge isn't it so this bond shifts here here only so this will be here and this pi bond is here when this bond shifts here this will get a plus charge right so what do we see we have seen the resonating structures right now let's see so where did we stop in the previous video I think uh, I have stopped it here let me take that writing the same compound again okay now I have a drawing, drawing group in O2 you have hydrogen and electrophile this is your bone and this is your bone now this has this pi bond has shifted here when this pi bond is shifted here this there is a plus here now what will happen benzene ring NO2 is here hydrogen is here electrophile is here and this pi bond has shifted here here this pi bond is here this becomes a positive charge correct now NO2 I said it is an electron withdrawing group yes or no yes so because of this electron going drags the electron density yes so what will happen this bond not here this will become plus because it is dragging the electron density towards itself yes or no it will drag so when it drags the electron density towards itself suppose if i uh, take the, that's what i said the no, minus f i effect and minus m uh, groups so minus i effect is showing here okay, okay. so the, uh, this is how it's going to show the electrophilic reactions means uh, the mechanism of this is with nitro group electron withdrawing group so when i have groups like ccl3 nh3 plus they also withdraw electrons from benzene ring by what they exert minus i effect like this and when it is exerting minus i effect what will happen to the ring it will deactivate the ring we deactivate the benzene ring so compounds with such groups are also less reactive than benzene they're very less fine right? so what will happen these electron withdrawing group which i have given the list like this they're deactivating groups all these are deactivating groups they what do they do as you have seen they withdraw pi electrons from the benzene ring see here i've shown you isn't it they withdraw pi electrons from benzene ring and what will happen when they withdraw the positive starts charge starts increasing in the benzene ring and once the positive charge starts increasing it is deactivation only isn't it so such compounds are very less reactive than benzene hope the concept is clear students so let's come back and start with the next in first important reaction of uh, uh, benzene that is halogenation reaction along with the mechanism thank you for watching